Hello. Welcome to the Detroit Experience. I'm an android and I'll be your hostess. Remember, this is not just a story. This is our future. We're coming to you live from Detroit, where thousands of androids are marching through the city at this very moment. The leader of the Deviants, the one they call Marcus, is at the head of the march. Something's happening in Detroit, Madam President. We don't want confrontation. We are protesting peacefully. I repeat, surrender now or we will open fire. There's no turning back now. We ask that you release all androids detained in camps and cease all aggression against us. We are peaceful. We will not resort to violence. But we are not leaving until our people are free. Open fire on unarmed protesters? Michael, we are less than a hundred meters away and events are unfolding as we speak. We will continue to bring you live updates. Joss Douglas, Channel 16. Michael, back to you. Marcus, what do we do now? We hold out. As long as we can.
Step back, Connor. And I'll spare him. Sorry, Connor. This bastard just spit an image. The bus terminal. We've arrived, Alice. We made it. The last bus from the border is full. Ticket holding passengers only. All departures are suspended until further notice. We don't have tickets. They won't let us on. We're stuck here now. What are we going to do? I think You're Oliver dead. likes you. Please don't move. Is she yours? Yes. She's adorable. That's it. Got the sandwiches. I called your mom. Let's get going before we miss our bus. You got the tickets, right? Yes, honey, in my bag. Great. Let's go then. Gary, check. Please don't move. Thank you. Security check. Please don't move. I'm sorry. Oh my god, I, I'm so sorry. I, I was sure. Shit, I don't believe it. I don't know what happened. You kind of lost them. Did you have a good look in your bag? They were in my backpack. The envelope must have fallen. Fuck. Excuse me, you, you didn't happen to see a blue envelope somewhere, did you? It has our bus tickets in it, and... <sighs> Never mind. No. Sorry. What are we gonna do? We can't stay here. We have to find a safe place for Oliver. I'm so sorry, honey. I don't know what happened. They were right here in my bag. I... Come on, Alice. Got your tickets? Yes, here they are. Okay, go ahead. What's going to happen to that family and their baby? Will they die because of us? No. No, of course not. We've got to finish the barricade. Come on, help me. Hey, help me!
Right, that should do it. I all know that's not gonna stop them. Just hope it buys us some time. I know it was not an easy decision to make, but I'm sure we're doing the right thing. Are you all right? They shot into the crowd. Many of us were killed. It could have been me. I'm scared I, I don't want to shut down. We're here because we never want to feel that fear again. Because we're more than what they say. That's what our people died for, right? That's why we're here. Many of our people have fallen. The humans have no pity for those who are different. Marcus, we found what you asked for. There's some journalists over there. We have to make sure they know what's going on.
won't stop there. What are we gonna do if they attack? Resist. That's the only thing we can do. Do you think Connor has any chance of making it? We can only count on ourselves now. I won't hold him for long, but I guess it's better than nothing. They're slaughtering us on the other side of that barbed wire. Nothing we can do about it. How many more of us have to die? Is there any cause worth giving your life for? You're the hope of our people. I trust you. We all trust you. No matter what happens now, we're making history. Marcus? Come to talk to you, Marcus. Come on. You have my word. We won't try anything. Don't go. It's a trap. They want to get you out in the open. Don't go, Marcus. I'm unarmed, Marcus. I just want to talk. I need to hear what he has to say. What if they kill you? And that's a chance I'll have to take. charge. None of you will survive. It'll all be over. You can avoid that, Marcus. What do you mean? Surrender. Surrender, and I give you my word, your life will be spared. You'll be detained, but none of you will be destroyed. What happened to the other androids demonstrating in the camps? Unfortunately, there were no journalists around to help save them. You're it. You're the last remaining deviants. You asking me to betray my people? I am offering you the chance to save your people. You're not walking out of here, Marcus. The only thing you can save now are the lives of those around you. I'm not afraid to die. If I have to give my life for what I believe in, then I won't have lived in vain. That android... You seem to... really... care about her. You didn't want her to die, do you? You know, you could both be free. You could forget about all this. You could start a new life someplace else, just the two of you. Her life's in your hands, Marcus.
Just say the word and she'll be spared. I'd rather die here than betray my people. Well, you just signed your own death warrant. The humans are about to launch an attack, and we will show them, and we are not afraid. If we must die today, then we will die free. What's going on, Deviants and Draconians? Draco Invictus here with my continuing Detroit Become Human story, and this is part two of Reclamation Day. It's the second part of the massive last chapter of Detroit Become Human, and wow, I mean, so <laughs> where, where do we start? So again, the army opens fire, but because the journalists are there and sticking with Marcus's line of we are going to be peaceful at all costs. Yes, the army stands down momentarily, allows the group to put up some barricades. It feels very almost les miserables, you know, of the whole thing. So that's where we are with them. We learned that Cyberlife has another Connor unit that not only went and got Hank, but brought him to Cyberlife. So it's... Uh, Man, Cyberlife is on top of their game, let me tell you. And that other Connor fooled Hank enough to get him there. And so now we're going to have a showdown between Connors. Dum, dum, dum. So that'll be interesting. And of course, then we get to the bus terminal and Kara finding the tickets and cheating the other family out of their ride to Canada. I felt bad. I really did. You know, they had a little baby, you know. But at the end of the day, we had come too far. There was... I didn't see any other options. So, yeah, that is where we were. I know that Alice was a little, you know, upset about that whole thing. But in the grand scheme of things, they're humans, right? Even little baby Oliver was a human. They obviously had some place to stay because they had packed up their things. They could go back home, whereas we could not. This was the last stop for us. We had to be on that bus. So yeah, that is going to wrap it up for this episode. Man, this game, it keeps tugging at heartstrings and making you make some difficult decisions. So that's where we're at and i hope you guys enjoyed this episode and make sure to stick around i've got at least one if not two maybe two more episodes i haven't edited that part yet so i'm not sure how many more episodes we have before the absolute finale of the game but like i said in my previous episode i am going to have some beyond detroit episodes talking about the game and with some uh, video and stuff like that that I've unlocked and we're going to explore it a little bit more so that is going to be a ton of fun something definitely look forward to in the coming weeks so stay tuned for all of that and until next time deviants and draconians I want you to take care of yourselves out there this is Draco Invictus saying this has been the greatest day of my life see ya